Now in lesson 8, we are going to look at the top 15 ways that you can overcome all objections and close all sales. There are total 10 lessons in this course. The top 15 ways. The first way is always assuming the sale. We have spoken about this many, many times already, which is just simply asking about details. A or B. This is the most simple and most direct way. And most people actually prefer this method. I mean, the buyers. Huh? Next is talk about minor things that lead to the major close. So you propose a series of minor decisions that make up the major decision. So for example, instead of purchasing, you can go for render. And you can just go for usage first. After you like it, you can rent it at home. After that, you can convert the renter into a purchase. And you can offset the renter fees that you have paid towards the purchase. This is one of the easiest and risky way for customers. Little mistake versus big mistake. Let people know that going ahead today could be a mistake, but it is a small mistake. Delay could be a bigger mistake because there are certain risks that you are taking. So for example, after you have examined your house and you decided that insurance is the right way to go, however, you delay and if there's a fire, your loss will be very big, right? Next is to always give people three choices and put what you want in the middle. We've spoken about this in our uh, nine ways to irresistible selling scarcity close understand that people won't even buy something when things are scarce so in this case not only i make my product and services scarce i actually make him scarce do you are you qualified you know i will have to let you prove your worth and seriousness to me this is so-called the metdoff closing metdoff we know was the biggest a swindler he cheated people 150 billion dollars huh, over all those Ponzi schemes investments. He was the chairman of Nasdaq and people like to invest in his fund and he always tell people that his funds are food, are food already and we cannot take in any more investments. People have to back him and then he just allowed them to invest a little bit. <laughs> Compromise close. Make it easy for people to decide. Start small. You don't need to go for the big one. All you need to do is to start small, that's all. And this is, could be a last resort. Nah. Let people know that you're very serious. I want your business. So every time i spoken to prospects after a while, I let them know, look here, you may wonder why am I still falling up with you and why am I still persistent about this? Very simple. I know this could be something not easy. I just want this to be a starting point for us. I really want your business. I appreciate every chance they can give us and I assure you, we will do whatever it takes to make sure you have a rewarding experience. List for and against. Here is very simple. I take out a piece of paper and I write on the left-hand side all the reasons that you shouldn't go ahead. For example, the first reason you shouldn't go ahead is this is too expensive. Second reason, this is not suitable. Third is that you are not ready. And one by one, I will tackle these objections. Call, we call this the Benjamin Franklin clothes. One by one, I will tackle the objections. For example, the first one is too expensive. I will tell him, what if I make the price affordable to you? So can we delete this objection? Then I will delete it. The next thing is say, this is not suitable. What if we customize and compromise so that it was suitable for you? Then I cancel this. Third one is that we are not ready. Why not we start small? I cancel it. And after I've cancelled all the objections, I would want to list the reasons for going ahead. And while it is, at first you will list all the objections. Whether it's five or ten does not matter. List as many as possible. After that, when you list the reasons for going ahead, make sure you list at least one more than the objection. Follow the leader close. Here you talk about the leaders. Leaders are people who are established and they would actually go ahead. And you can even show them their testimonials, you know. Never take no. Huh? Try again by changing tech. When they say no, we always say that no means K-N-O-W. That means they need to know more. So no need to get panic. 
change that and move on. Number 11, solve both words. You have two problems. First is your need. And now, you don't want to go ahead. After you go back home, you'll be thinking about this. You actually have a bothered mind. That's right, your mind is bothered. So you actually have two problems. Why not once and for all, solve both problems, go ahead and assure you I will not bother you for the rest of my life. Number 12, sell it with love. Love is the biggest thing in the world. No one can reject love. When people say they don't want to go ahead because they love money, just simply ask them this simple question. Do you love money more or your goal more? You said you want to improve your health and now you say it's too expensive. So are you telling me that you love the money more than your goal? If it is, I would like to let you know that money is just one of the seven wealth we have in our life. The prospect says he wants to save money. I let him know there are seven types of riches in this world. The first and most important is the physical richness. That means your physical body, your mental health, your vitality and well-being. We all know rich people spend a lot of money for their medical well-being, right? And maybe many people would spend a lot of money taking health supplements. And right now, we have a health product here that can prevent illness. Isn't this also part of the riches? Second is the intellectual richness, things like knowledge, education. So when you join our company, be one of our members, we have the ongoing training and education to improve your knowledge and education on health and well-being. That is emotional support. We all know people want the love, the relationship, the family, the friends. And here our company has the friends club whereby we do organize activities once in a month. We have the talks and we have the fellowship. We can go for the networking and also the color okay, cultural arts, heritage and tradition. We have ongoing training every month and sometimes we don't talk about our product or health. We talk about arts and heritage and most importantly, the importance of continuing the tradition. So, you know, why do people want to go to the uh, and buy the expensive antiques? Uh, because arts is also a form of richness. Uh, and when you're born in a culturally rich country, you actually feel richer than, let's say you're just born in the desert, right? When there's nothing. Uh. Uh, social, social status, connection, and social media. People spend a lot of money focusing on how to improve their status. And over here, when you join our company, you'll be one, uh, one of our members. We actually have the social media that you also can join in. You have the connection. Spiritual, uh, most people will go for the inner peace, the connection to something greater than themselves. That's called enlightenment. So when you invest in this product, you are able to join our activities and one of them is the meditation or mindfulness that we have. So the lastly, the last one is financial. So you say you want to save money, you want to save the financial, that is only one of the seven riches in the world. So it is important to look at things in proper perspective. So even if you want to save, you consider the other six not important, even if you want to consider the financial is the most important. And financial richness has two elements. First is the cash flow. The other is the value. Cash flow means money coming in and out, right? Whereby the inflows are more than the outflows. So now you invest in this machine, you're actually saving on cash flow because instead of you renting from us, you actually have the machine. You can actually share this with people. You see, once and for all, you have no more further cash flow going up. One time you come up the money and you can enjoy it for the rest of your life. And this machine you also can use for business. For example, you can charge people $20 per usage. So imagine if you can have about five customers, let me do some calculation. You can have five customers and you charge people $20 per usage. One day you have 100, right? And one month, there are, let's say, 22 days. You minus a Saturday, Sunday, 22 days. One month is already 
2,200 ladies and gentlemen. The machine is only 1,482. So in less than one month, you already recover all your money. Isn't this the best cash flow? And if you are still skeptical, say, Andy, things are not so good. Let's divide everything by half. It's 1,001. It is almost the same as your investment of 1,004. And most importantly, you're getting a value. When your health is improved, you got more means to generate more cash flow. Your cash flow reinvested can create more value. Ladies and gentlemen, your financial richness can only get bigger and bigger once you invest in our machine of 1004 you must understand why the rich get richer while the poor gets poorer because the rich able to convert things into value and create more cash flow out of things whereas the poor will just try to save the money you know cash is diminishing right because of inflation every year about five to eight percent so you actually instead of investing in this thousand four machine, you want to save the thousand four. And what do you do with the money? You actually spend it. So there's no further cash flow coming in. Whereas you improve in your health, actually your health better, you can generate more cash flow in with a healthier body. And so so don't be like most people whereby they actually try to save money and actually get poorer. So the more you save, the more poor you become. Now you understand why. Because richness is not just about the physical money. Richness, financial richness is not just about the money. It is about cash flow and value. So I've gone to great lengths to show people money elements and in the end I just ask him, so do you still love money more? or your goal more. You still want to love the thousand four, or you want to love what the thousand four can bring to you. If there's still a problem in my closing, I actually bring along another person, and that person is my sales manager. This is called the sales manager close, whereby the other person is the sales manager. Let's say you explain and you still cannot close, then the other person will say, look here, I'm the sales manager. Actually, Andy just now uh, explained too much. All this actually no need. All you need to do is to do this, do that, and the whole thing is gone. Why not you just sign here, sign there, and then you get the machine and you get everything that you ask for. It's that simple. See, close already, right? Lose money faster if hold on to money. Just now we already mentioned about this. Money is not so simple about just the dollars and cents. Money got this thing called the value and also cash flow uh, important thing is money drops in value because of inflation whereas when you possess something when you own something when you invest in something your value increase so that's why if you hold on to money you are actually wasting money lastly if i still cannot close i would say let's forget about business let's talk about your dreams and people eyes will open up no one can deny the talking about dreams. What dreams do you have? I'd rather make friends than make money. I'll talk about your childhood dreams. I'll talk about what you want to do. What are the dreams your children have? And most importantly, I will ask you, are you able to sleep soundly? If you have gone through the whole thing and discovered all the benefits, and yet still want to hold on to the money, will you be having sweet dreams or nightmare? Ladies and gentlemen, with that more or less, the sale will be closed. But we still have lesson nine. Why? Because many people told me, Andy, my sales situation is very complex. Don't worry, I have another 68 more ways to close every sale. Let's go to the next video.